if there is one man in the WWE that has become a legend during his career, it has to be The Undertaker. He has had one of the longest winning streaks in the history of sports entertainment. And very few people can say that they have beaten the dead man fair and square. With that being said, here are seven superstars that came really close. Number 7. Rey Mysterio Rey Mysterio seems like an unlikely entry in this list, but while he didn't meet The Undertaker on the grandest stage of them all, he did manage to beat him on a May 2010 edition of SmackDown. The two superstars faced off against each other in four singles matches on WWE television, and this was by far the most interesting. After overshooting the last ride, it seemed like Mysterio had The Undertaker beat, but the dead man got him in a chokehold and landed a pile driver to win the match. Number 6. Shawn Michaels The final match of WrestleMania 26 was dubbed the Career vs. Streak match. The stakes were high, as high as it gets. Both men delivered stellar performances landing their signatures early in the match. Undertaker injured his leg, and for the duration of the match, that's what Michaels capitalized on, brutalizing the knee and even landing a moonsault off the top rope and through the announce table. Nearing the culmination of the match, Michaels connected with three powerful Sweet Chin musics, but the dead man wouldn't stay down. His next attempt would be met with a choke slam and a pile driver, bringing the streak to 18 and 0. Number 5. Edge Edge has had his fair share of grievances with the dead man. With the World Heavyweight Championship on the line and The Undertaker's 15-0 streak hanging in the balance, this was an exceptionally well-paced match and kept up the action until the very end. Edge fought valiantly and even received a bit of help. You know, because he's a heel. The Undertaker fought through it and came out on top, securing the streak and getting his hands on the championship. Number 4. CM Punk I don't want to believe that after this match with Triple H, Undertaker was making yearly appearances for the sake of his streak. Despite his face showing clear signs of being worn out, his agility against CM Punk at WrestleMania 29 showed that he hadn't missed a step. This was not a particularly high-stakes match per se, but it was interesting because it pit one of the most prolific wrestlers of his time against the Phenom. There was a mixed reaction, and though the match did have the what-the-hell kickouts or intense pacing, it was clear by the end that Punk wouldn't make the cut. This was a bit of wasted potential on Punk's part, because I believe with the backing he got from the company, he wouldn't have been made to look so weak. Number 3. Shane McMahon Undertaker's match with Shane McMahon was just a bit of filler with a Hell in a Cell thrown in to raise the stakes. Shane McMahon was in no way in his prime, and neither was The Undertaker for that matter, and it made some say that there was no need to desecrate a good character by using him every WrestleMania. That's not to say that the two of them didn't deliver one of the greatest performances in WrestleMania history. The 20-foot jump was the nail in the coffin for McMahon. Otherwise, the match was consistent and had some moments where the audience really felt that Shane could pull it off. Alas, it wasn't to be. Number 2. Brock Lesnar After breaking the dead man's streak, Brock Lesnar knew that the dead man wouldn't go down without a fight, and that led to their epic rematch at SummerSlam 2015. Having beaten the dead man once, Lesnar seemed to have an edge in the match, and it was clear that The Undertaker was off his game. Lesnar was dominating their competition so much so that it resulted in even The Undertaker taking his chances with a low blow. However, the match still ended ambiguously and there was no decisive way of saying who won or lost. And coming in at number 1, it's Triple H. Let's top off the list with the King of Kings. WrestleMania 27 saw Hunter Hearst Helmsley's WrestleMania match with The Undertaker, and it ended with severe repercussions for the game. 
So the next year, at WrestleMania 28, Triple H brought his A-game, and with Shawn Michaels as the special guest referee, things were looking good for the game. Then, in what can only be described as the most gruesome Hell in a Cell match ensued. At some points, the entire arena resounded with chair slams from each of the competitors' backs. Even with Shawn's interference in the match, it still ended up with Triple H looking up at the lights. This was a pro wrestling fairy tale featuring two future Hall of Famers, and no one has ever done it better in the WWE. This match truly was the end of an era. Hey, that's it for this one, folks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And for notifications on when our next video drops, make sure to ring that bell icon. See you next time!